नमस्कार एंड वेरी वॉम वेलकम यू वॉचिंग वेंटेज आम आकांक्षा स्वरूप The Arctic is the next battleground for superpowers, rivals like the United States and Russia, and military alliances like the NATO. They are doing drills in the region, but why are leading nations racing to prepare for a conflict in the region? We'll get you the answers tonight. Also, a report by Washington Post is testing the unity of the West for Ukraine. It reveals the United States knew about the sabotage of the Nord Stream pipelines three months in advance. The role of Zelensky and his top military leadership is also under the lens. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Saudi Arabia. America's influence in the region is under threat. The visit is an attempt to undo some of the damage. Also, we'll tell you why Australia is doing away with the bank checks. You're watching Vantage. I'm Akanksha Swaroop, filling in for Palki Sharma. First, the headlines. China's trade with Russia in May soars to the highest level since the start of the Ukraine war. Trade between the two countries last month was worth over $20 billion. It comes as Beijing steps up support for its sanctions hit ally. China is Russia's largest trading partner. NATO to begin its largest ever Air Force deployment exercise in Europe next week. The 10-day exercise will include over 200 military aircraft from 25 NATO and partner countries. US says, while the exercise is defensive in nature, it is intended to send a message to Russia. Israel slums US Vice President Kamala Harris. Harris had hinted that the Netanyahu government's legal reforms could curb the judiciary's independence. Israeli Foreign Minister Eli Cohen hits back and Biden's deputy says she's ignorant of their reform plans. Air India sends relief jet to rescue passengers stranded in Russia. Tuesday's New Delhi to San Francisco flight was diverted to Russia's far east after the plane developed engine trouble. There were over 200 passengers and 16 crew on board the US-bound flight. And England mulls expanding access to weight loss drugs. Doctors could soon be allowed to prescribe obese people with weight loss drugs under a pilot scheme. A 2019 survey said there were over 12 million adults living with obesity in England, accounting for 28% of the population.